can understand why two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up it's real sociedad they take on real madrid and it's coming up next on ea tv Hello, great to be with you from a city that should be on the must-visit list of most football fans, I think. We're at the Estadio de Anoeta in San Sebastián. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And on the menu for you today, live action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Real Sociedad, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. And he read it really well. Fine save. And fired over by Kroos. Struggling to get it away. Valverde. This is Kroos. They look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Mbappe in the centre. Appeared to be in two minds. And nicely struck. Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. Well, that was incisive. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this oh, look out, Derek Charles here. And a decent save, full credit. Oh, good-looking run. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. And they need to get tighter. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Firing it towards goal! Well, it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end. Real Sociedad unable to retain it. Vinicius Junior. And a long way out here was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Read it well. And the ball taken forward by Tony Kroos. He has options around him. And there's the feed into the box. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Well, great read there to intercept. Rudiger. Committed challenge.
Bryce Mendes. Really good build up, but no end product. Crossing into the middle. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. And so it is, half time now here at the Reale Arena. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Oh, that's a really good run. Well then there to tidy up. Mendes Traore plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce well nothing comes of it it looked promising <laughs> Bellingham here's Mbappe now the counter attack looks on all at all a broken counter attack Oyar Sabal. It's with Mikel Marino. Oh, managing to beat him. Cutting it back. And not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence. Create overloads in the wide areas. And then we may see an improvement in those stats. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. And he clears it out of harm's way. And he's in. Oh, he saved it well. So making the substitution now. Bellingham, plenty of support here. Mbappe. Can they produce something? Of course. Here's Mbappe. Will he find the net? Oh, must be. There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Just the challenge that was required. That's useful play. A fine reading of the situation. Mikel Marino. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. 
can the players respond now? And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Substitution time it is here. This could square the game. Brilliantly blocked. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Who can they pick out? And cleared away. And a goal kick is the outcome. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Aurelien Chouameni. The ball with Luka Modric. Modric. Will he play it in? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Barenicea. Really getting stuck in. Mbappe. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Barenicea. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. No fans are going to be happy with this. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. Well, really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.